YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy MBM, and I am him. Back with another banging tutorial for you, and today I'm about to show y'all how to set your DAW up so you can screen record it. Today I'm gonna show you how to use loopback in SSL 12. How do you use loopback and how do you screen record your DAW? So today I'm gonna show you how to use your loopback. You can actually sample stuff off YouTube. This interface is gonna do it for you. So if you got loopback, this tutorial is for you, all right? But before we tap into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Tap that bell notification that'll keep you in tune with all the latest content I drop. Leave a comment below. Without further ado, man, let's get to it. Let's get it. All right, man, so here we go. So you got SSL 12 and you wanna know how to use your loopback so you can record um, stuff off of YouTube. You know, you may wanna sample something. You may got like a, a certain uh, sound you want, like a swoosh or anything. So this makes it real simple and easy for you to grab the audio and makes it super simple so that you can use it if you wanna sample whatever you wanna do. Now, when you open up your SSL interface, you're gonna see that you got digital inputs and you got playback returns. Our playback returns is what we're looking at. So if you go down here <clears throat> to the bottom right, you're going to see your loopback source. So loopback is going to be playing through one and two on our source right here. But when you go in your DAW, you got to remember that loopback is actually seven and eight in your, in your DAW. So if I go here and I right click and I, let's do a uh, audio stereo track. So we'll do that. Now, in order to use loopback, you definitely want to take the input and turn this to seven and eight. Okay, so now that you got seven and eight, what we're gonna do is gonna bring this down, so it don't be it don't be loud when we're recording something. So let me pull up uh, YouTube or something. Hold on, can't see. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, YouTube. Um, man, let me go to my channel because I don't want to go on nobody's stuff, and you know I get striked mm -hmm. for it. So let's go here. Let's click on this video. Tube is up, but I'm gonna drag this over to the top so I can really show you what's going on here. So in order to record, let me just play this. So let me skip this commercial. World is is okay, cool. So in order to activate it, now remember your input you turn to seven and eight. So that is your actual loopback for your DAW. So in here to activate it, what you're gonna do is hit record. Now I'm gonna mute myself. It's balanced. It sounds good. So this is where you can start telling yourself, okay, do my track need more kick, more bass? Do I need a little more punch to it? Do I need to bring the guitar out a little wider or whatever? If I Okay, so you can see that, that, oh, my bad, y'all. Hold on, I didn't even record the audio. So let's do this. So in order to get it going, we're going to record the audio. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. All right, so let me bring this over again, man. All right, so this is what we're doing. Okay. Boom, here we go. Now, let's see. We hit record. I need to open it up. This is where you get the, you know, you get to, you put your thinking cap on. So with the guitar, I'm going to spread it all the way out. All right, so I'm gonna stop that right there. And then I'm gonna mute me and then I'm gonna play it back. I need to open it up. This is where you get the, you know, you get to, you put your thinking cap on. So with the guitar, I'm gonna spread it all the way out. All right, so now I'm gonna play it and we don't have to worry about the audio tripping out. This is where you get the, you know, you get to, you put your thinking cap on. So with the guitar, I'm gonna spread it all the way out. So you can see that recorded um, YouTube. So that's the cool part about that is you're able to record YouTube. Now, you wanna stream your DAW, right? So. I use Camtasia. I don't use anything else, but I use Camtasia. But I can't stop it. I, hopefully, I can bring something up. Let's see. Let's um. Now, if you're using OBS, 
I open up OBS. Let's drag this over here. Now, let's say, for instance, you're using OBS. Now, you want to set up OBS to uh, stream your DAW. So for one, what we're going to do is we're going to go into settings. Now, remember, we're going to be using loopback. So we're going to go into settings. Boom. And then from there, you want to go to output. Not output. I'm sorry, y'all. Audio. And then in here, you're going to see your default, your desktop audio, desktop audio 2, mic auxiliary, audio. Now, this is where we're going to set up loopback. So in here, if you got SSL 12 or whatever DAW you have that has loopback, you're going to set that up as loopback. So from here, you're going to go down here and you're going to look for loopback. So we see it right here, left and right, loopback, SSL 12. Boom, we click on that. We hit OK. And then from there, now my my streaming stuff, I, I, I use YouTube. And then, you know what I'm saying? From there, my output, you can see my streaming settings right here. Uh, I use CBR as my rate control. My bit rate, I set up at 7,750. 7, so I can, I, I'm, I'm, able to, I'm able to get 4K because of the computer I use. And then um, when you get the streaming, you definitely want to... Um, you want to go, let me see this. Okay, so I have it on basic. Now, record. This is when you're recording your audio. This is when you're recording your doll. So, mine's is set up. I do the custom output. So, when you get here, just go to custom, take it off a of standard. And then from here, I don't know what kind of unit you have, but my bit rate, I sit at 50,000 as far as video quality. And then my keyframe, I keep at 250. My rescale output would be 38, uh, 40 by 2160, which is 4K which make it super simple. And then with your audio bit rate, take it to 320 so you can get a nice, you know, a nice sound in audio when you're streaming your DAW or whatever you're doing. That's going to make things sound better. And then from here, you can just copy my sentence, man. Like, super simple. Now, if you got internet that doesn't push that hard, do a speed test. So you can do a speed test and figure out as far as your streaming go when you're using your bit rate for streaming, do a speed test. If your upload speed is anything under... I would say 10, I would say about 10, 10 megabytes upload. Then bro, you definitely gonna have to take this down to probably about 5,000. I don't, I don't know to tell you about that. So get your internet game up. But if your internet, if your upload speed is about 20 megabytes going, you know, upload speed, then you'll be, you'll be good around 7,000, 10,000. I'll turn mine on 10,000 sometimes and I'll be fine. But like I said, you want to make sure you got a good computer to really, really, really be doing this. Now, this is something this is something that, ain't, that they don't tell you is you need a good computer, man. I don't care what nobody say. And this is what's going to get you going. But, yeah, that's how you get your streaming going and then your recording going. Like I said, um, I use MP4. I use MP4. I don't use anything else. As um, far as the uh, the video codec, I use MP4. So when I bounce it down, it's not too big and then a big file. Now, if I use dot move any dot uh, mov, that's gonna be super big. But I do use that on my Mac. But on my PC, I'm using MP4. Yeah, man. And then you know you set up your streaming account, log in to whatever you're using, and, and and man, it's it's that it's that simple. So if you're using loopback and um you're trying to figure out how to stream your dog, this is how you're gonna do it. It's super simple, really easy to do. Like I said, remember going to your settings, and then right here you got your mic. You got your uh you got and this is the mic auxiliary input far as your sound that's is, your sound's going to be traveling through this so that's what makes that easy and then like i said when you loop back like i said if you want to loop i'm giving you two things at one time i'm showing you how to uh record your loop back in your DAW and how to stream it on obs and um if you use camtasia camtasia is the same thing now with camtasia i can't i can't i can't show you because I'm, i actually got a recording prism same thing as obs but Camtasia is a little different. You might get in there and it might not open up for you. But with Camtasia, all you got to do is take your mic input and turn that to loop back. That's it. You don't have to do nothing else. Turn off system audio and use your mic in your door. And that's how easy it'll be for you. So, so streaming on a PC is a lot easier. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm not, it's the same thing with a Mac. Like if you got loop back, it's going to be easy. Now, if you don't got loop back, I'm going to create another video for you to where you can actually hear your sound through your DAW, it's going to be a whole nother way of doing it. But you're still going to get a great quality of sound, and you don't have to worry about that. But that's how you do it, man. It's super simple and easy to do. It's your boy, MBM. I hope you learned something, man, about how to stream your DAW and how to, about how to set your loop back if you got an SSL 12 or anything, any DAW that has loop back. So, man, I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Much love. Y'all take care, and I'm out.